I am Chef Boyer J, and today we are making a healthy crock pot dinner. Ugh. It's gonna be a whole five pound chicken, and we're gonna season it with what I have displayed here. Here I have some onions, some carrot, some rosemary, and then we're gonna have some green onions. Here we have some chicken bouillon. Old Bay seasoning, baby. Black salt and pepper, lemon pepper, thyme leaves, and basil and a lemon to stuff it in in his butt. All right, so I'm gonna peel these carrots first. I could do it with the peeler, but somebody stole my peeler. So now we gotta do it old school style. Okay, so here's how I season my chicken with salt, some pepper. And I like to add some lemon pepper just to give it that lemony taste. Some thyme, of course. And we're gonna put some basil. Basil is everything. And then for a kick, we're gonna add some chicken bouillon. And my secret is Old Bay, baby. We're gonna season all that up, mix it up, and we're gonna rub it on the bird. I don't know about you, but I don't like my bird too fatty. So the fat is usually on its derriere, and that's the biggest part. Cut that butthole. And I'll usually get my gizzards taken out. All right, so here's how you properly place your seasoning. You wanna get the skin and kind of lift it from the body. This is just so the chicken will absorb all of the seasonings you've made. Go in the breast and go in the thighs. Don't be afraid. And to get the aroma going in your crock pot, you just want a half a lemon and you're gonna stuff this in its, you know. Stuffing it under the skin, I don't know if most people do this, but I do. Okay, so I like to coat all the chicken evenly, so pick that up like a baby and coat it on all even sides, even in the back side. Okay, so for presentation, you don't want just its leg gaping wide like that because it's gonna tear apart in the crock pot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a string and I'm gonna tie its legs. Now this is a five quart crock pot and you just want to place the chicken in the center, add in your onions that you cut up and all other veggies. So it's been cooking for four and a half hours right now. It still has like two and a half hours to go, but it seriously smells so orgasmic in my kitchen right now. Like, oh my God, check this out. Doesn't he look, oh my God. This is gonna be so tender and moist. A uh, guy's two favorite words. Oh, I'm baking potatoes also because pota I'm gonna make twice baked potatoes. Except I won't eat any because, you know, that's like super unhealthy. Uh, but I'm making dinner for my friends and his mom, so. I think every potato, baked potato that is, is fabulous with bacon. Put bacon on everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, listen to it sizzle. After that, you want to seat the oil in a napkin and crush it, crumble it, because we're going to be stuffing this in our canoe-like shaped baked potato. So just cut the very top of it and you're gonna scrape everything out into a bowl. Now you want this to be like mashed potatoes. So we're gonna add some salt and pepper and then we're gonna add a little bit of butter or maybe a lot and cream cheese and mix it all together until you have a nice consistency. Add some chives and of course some You want to stuff all this in your canoe potato and you're going to bake it again for 15 minutes for 350 degrees. Enjoy everybody. Thanks for watching.